I'm Dave, the host and co-creator of Dopey, the amazing podcast on drugs, addiction, and dumb shit. Everyone has been saying I should start making YouTube videos, so I figured we'd start with something I know nothing about, the daily reflections. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, but I know it's going to be great. Trust me. Good morning, Dopey, and welcome to Good Morning, Dopey, our deep yet incredibly shallow dive into the world of the daily reflections. My name is Dave. I am obviously the host of Good Morning, Dopey, and I'm also the host of Dopey, the podcast on drugs, addiction, and dumb shit. And we are here trying to uh, keep you company with the daily reflections, you know, like I think I talked about this on a previous daily reflection but i'm gonna say this uh i've never been a fan of the daily reflections and i've never been a fan of people wanting to get me involved with the daily reflections i was i recently asked out of a daily reflections group text because i don't want that shit forced into my world so i hope you guys are here of your own volition and nobody forced you to watch this daily reflection i just figured there's such an important text um with helpful tidbits about living in sobriety one day at a time, 365 days a year, I couldn't resist trying to uh, make sense of it for myself and for you guys. And uh, I'm wearing my Knicks hat, and I hope this year's better than the last. All right, before we get into day two, December 2nd, serenity, I'm going to say that, um, make a disclaimer that The Good Morning Dopey has nothing to do with the Daily Reflections except for the fact that we are reading it. That's it. Nothing else. Trying to make sense of it. Trying to have a little fun. Trying to keep you company. That's it. And also, there are 12 steps in a 12-step program. There are 12 months in a year. The Daily Reflection breaks down the months kind of corresponding to the steps. December... It's a beautiful month with things like Hanukkah and Christmas, Kwanzaa. It's a wonderful month. It is also the month that uh, recognizes the 12th step. And the 12th step, of course, is having had a spiritual awakening from the first steps. We carry this message and practice the principles uh, in our daily life. I think that's close to what the thing is. I'm going to have to look it up again because I can't take it. Yes, having had a spiritual awakening as the result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. I'm surprised it doesn't say all of our affairs. And my sponsor says we practice these principles in all of our affairs so we don't have any affairs. But he's, he's of course, talking about extramarital affairs. And that's him trying to be funny. He's a sweet guy, though. My sponsor has tattoos on his neck, and he has the tattoos real deal across his knuckles. But real is spelled with two E's because he's like a fisherman. Anyway, that's just a little tidbit. He was an ex hard like hardball player which is some kind of like junior baseball thing he's a he's a great athlete he's a house builder and he's a very spiritual guy and um it's been very good for me to work with a sponsor it's been very good for me he's a real by the book 12 step person he says when he gets up in the morning he gets on his knees to pray Uh, And then he brushes his teeth, and then he puts the cap back on the toothpaste. That's the kind of person my sponsor is. I I don't think I got on my knees this morning because my daughter woke me up, and I never had a second. I think I prayed in the car, and I never put the cap back on the toothpaste. I don't even have a cap for my toothpaste. Today is December 2nd, and uh, our the, the Daily Reflection says, Serenity. And all I can think of is, uh, is what's his, Frank Costanza and Serenity Now. Anyway, having had a spiritual awakening as the result of these steps, dot, dot, dot. Because that means tomorrow it's going to be, 
we tried to carry this principle to the alcohol, this message to the alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. They do these dot, dot, dots once in a while. So the beginning is having had a spiritual awakening as the result of these steps. This is from the 12 steps and 12 traditions. As I continued to meet, to go to meetings and work the steps, something began to happen to me. I felt confused because I wasn't sure what it was that I was feeling. And then I realized I was experiencing serenity. It was a good feeling. But where, it, where had it come from? Then I realized it had come as the result of these steps. The program may not always be easy to practice, but I had to acknowledge that my serenity had come to me after working the steps. As I work the steps in everything I do, practicing these principles in all my affairs, now I find that I am awake to God, to others, and to myself. The spiritual awakening I have enjoyed as the result of working the steps is the awareness that I am no longer alone. This is a very beautiful reading. This is the kind of stuff that I can sometimes feel very detached from. On Saturday, I went to a meeting. Today's, in my timeline, today is Monday. Over the weekend, I went to two meetings and I went today. That was three meetings in a row, three days in a row. But before Saturday, I hadn't been to a meeting in 15 days. And I found that I've become kind of a person I used to make fun of, the kind of person who says, oh, I really need a meeting. I, I was telling my friend that on the phone, and he was like, Dave, I never thought I'd hear you say that. And um, it is uncomfortable to – and, I, and I, it's uncomfortable for me to be reliant – on 12 step meetings, but it's true. And I also feel like when I'm disconnected from the stuff, I feel like shit. But when I recommit to the stuff, I do have serenity. This thing actually works for me. I know this serenity is real and serenity comes from being out of your head. You know, my, I'm back to working the steps. I'm, I'm working the sixth step again. And, um, which is basically recognizing my character defects and trying to be rid of them. And my number one character defect is self-centeredness and um, selfishness. And I find that when I do this shit, I forget about myself and I have serenity. But it just comes from not being completely self-centered as I make this YouTube video to get likes and shit. So, having said that, write nice things in the comment, like the page, subscribe. Howie, what are you doing over there? What's all that noise? What? What all that the dinging and shit? What are you doing? What are you doing? Game. What video game? I'm just deleting things. What are you why is it making so much noise? Deleting previous episodes. <laughs> why is it making so much noise? I don't you gotta mute. You gotta mute that shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start playing it's like, are you on camera? No. Why not? Why do you do it? Why do you get in there if you're not on camera? Who am I talking to if we don't see you? What's happening? It's the wall. All right. So, Howie, do you have a certain feeling of serenity? Yes. Are, can you? Are you on camera? Now I'm on camera. Howie's not an alcoholic, nor a drug addict, nor in recovery. But I have a serious question. Okay. What brings you serenity? Seriously. Uh, that's like what brings me peace. Sure. Uh, my family. Let's go with that. I, I'd say, eh, I, I think I know, I it, but I know what brings you serenity. Mm. Having problems mm. and then fixing them. Ooh, that's a good one. That's your thing. My email signature says problem solver. Well, there you go. Yeah, something like that. All right. That's what brings Howie serenity. For me, it's whenever I'm not in my head. My family sometimes gives me serenity and sometimes gives me misery. But usually serenity. And you you told me your daughter got pissed at you because you asked her about the SAT thing. How serene were you then, Mr. Velcro? All right. Anyway, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe and like and all that stuff. And... Put stuff in the comments. We want more Howie. Stay strong, Dopey Nation, and fucking toodles for Chris.